Hey guys and welcome back! So today we're going to be watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 5 Episode 19 and I have a new charger! Yay! I'm so excited! In case you missed my post about this or you didn't watch all of the review of the previous Angel episode, which is totally fair by the way, but in case you missed those, my charger decided to start smoking during my review of Angel. You know, I tried to talk it out of it, I was like, smoking is so bad for you, like, you're gonna ruin your lungs, all of that kind of thing, but my charger was like, mm, actually I love smoking, I'm just gonna continue to be doing it. So yeah, that was really stressful. Basically I had to order a new one from online because of course the small electronic store near me wasn't carrying my specific charger, neither was the internet. Like I got so lucky that someone on my Discord was so kind that they helped me pick one out because I was just freaking out. I was like, I don't know what to do because none of these are the exact match for what I need, none of the chargers that they're selling in the description of like, oh, these are compatible with these laptops, none of them said my laptop, not a single one, not even the one that I ended up ordering, so I was like so stressed, so luckily I had a very nice person in my Discord help me out, couldn't have done it without them, so yeah, I'm excited to have my charger back because I've been so bored these past few days, like it was miserable, guys, I shudder just thinking about it, you know what I had to do? I had to go outside. Did you all know there are bugs outside? Zero out of time would not recommend. So I'm very happy that my charger is here and it's working, it's all good, I'm so happy and I got to watch Buffy because I was kind of scared and worried that I wasn't gonna be able to watch it on time, but I can and I'm very excited to get back into it. Also very nervous because this is the last chunk of the season, the next four episodes I'm watching are all Buffy and then when I do that, it's the end of season 5, which is... Mm, how? How am I after that only two seasons away from finishing this show? Please, please, why did I just say that? I'm about to go in the fucking spiral. Like, I don't want to finish this show. This is so good and fun. Let's not talk about some stuff that happened that were definitely not fun this season. But yeah, because everybody's like, oh, this is my favorite season. I'm really nervous to finish it. Even though... I don't think I could ever call this my favorite season because of Joyce's death. Like, honestly, sure, Buddy, amazingly well-crafted episode, killed me, and I don't think I could ever call this my favorite season because that hurts way too much. So, you know, maybe I like the next couple of seasons more than I did this one. <laughs> probably, probably not. Honestly, God, I kind of have this feeling that Dawn's gonna die at the end of this season. I just... You know, why would Buffy ever get to be kind of sort of happy? I mean, it's gonna be a couple of weeks for her since her mom died, so maybe she's starting to, you know, feel a little bit better at that point. Like, not by a much, but, you know, a little bit better. Like, a little bit thinking that, oh, I think I can get through this. I think maybe with time it will get easier. So they're gonna be like, bam, Dawn is dead. I, I don't know, I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling something bad is going to happen at the end of the season because are they gonna keep Dawn after season 5? Like, past season 5, can we have her? Like, is she just part of the group? Which, I mean, to me, she totally feels like part of the group. Like, honestly, it's kind of crazy, but it does feel like she's been here since the beginning. Like, we know she hasn't been here, but the way she has been integrated into the group, it was just so seamless. And I mean, after, you know, we started to learn more about her and I started to like her and accept her, after that, it really did feel like that she's part of the team, the Scoobies, the family, like she is a Summers woman. So I'm stressed because she feels like she is a part of it and I can now definitely see her be part of the show for the rest of the two seasons. But I mean, killing her would be such a gut punch to Buffy, so like, Obviously, they're gonna do that, right? Like, they're not gonna let Buffy be happy. Hmm? Like, we're all agreeing on that. Like, she's never gonna be happy. I accepted it. It's crushing my soul, but I've accepted it. So, I'm so scared. Like, I'm actually just so worried for Dawn. And, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even know. Like, fucking hell. I don't know. Is she gonna die? Guys, I'm so scared. Especially now that in the previous episode, Glory found out that... I mean, I think she found out earlier, but in the previous episode is when she instructed her minions to follow Buffy and figure out who the key is in her life. And only because Robot Buffy... The Robot Buffy, I can't believe that happened. That's so good. 
but only because Robot Buffy was prioritizing Spike is why Glover thought it was Spike. And real Buffy is always asking for Dawn, like all the fucking time. Like that was what tipped Xander off, that that wasn't Buffy or that something was going on with her, something was wrong because robot Buffy didn't ask immediately like, where's Dawn? How's Dawn? Is she okay? So that's stressing me out that Buffy cares so much about Dawn, which is fair, like she should. But if Glory ever hears that, maybe she'll put it together. I just think we're getting so close. For Glory to figure out that Dawn is the key and I'm assuming it's gonna happen like very very soon with only four episodes being left of the season and I wonder how it's going to happen. Is Ben gonna make a slip up again? Like god damn that little idiot! I was rooting for him and then he was like mm, it's a key! Oh like not it's a key it's a person! Like Ben please I need you to don't I need you to stop like don't do that don't ever talk don't ever talk to Jinx again okay? God okay um but yeah, I'm very stressed. Um, I didn't even talk about it, but this next episode is actually called Tough Love. I don't know, who are we putting tough love on? Is it for Spike? Are we giving that tough love on him? Oh my god, I feel like with all of these things going on, I completely forgot that Buffy ended up kissing Spike in the previous episode. I forgot that that's how the episode ended. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. That was also insane. So like, are we giving tough love to Spike? Like, are we just like, hmm, that was a one-time thing. I was just grateful that you didn't read out my sister. That's it. You can never touch these lips ever again. I, I, there's so much going. There's so much going on, and I'm overwhelmed. So I think I'm just gonna stop talking and actually get into the episode because I want to know what happens next so badly. And also, I feel like I'm just freaking myself out with season five ending, with Dawn dying, with the spy Buffy thing. Like I don't. I still don't know how to feel about the two of them. Like I feel like people are, you know very much some opposing sides of the Spike and Buffy thing. I don't know where I stand. I love Spike as a character so much, so I don't really have a preference. Like, of course, from like an actual standpoint, the Buffy-Spike romance, fucking doomed, don't do it. Like, they're not a match. Like, they're not a good match at all. But maybe it would be fun to watch. Like, you know? It would be fun to watch. Like, <laughs> it's kind of the thing, like, I think I talked about this before, but for me, the number one thing when I watch a show is for it to be fun. Like, honestly, as long as it's fun, I can overlook a lot of things because I have critical thinking, you know? So it's like, if Spike and Buffy do end up getting together, I won't mind. Like, I know he's not a good fit for her. I know he's a soulless monster. I know that he's a selfish guy who maybe would go on a rampage if he didn't have a chip in his head anymore. Like, I don't think he can truly change as a soulless vampire, but I do think it would be very fun and interesting to watch them be a couple. Like, I think that would be really fun to watch. And that's what I care about the most. Fun. Oh god, am I gonna keep talking? I'm so sorry, this is so long, but I just remember... Why did I forget what the previous episode was about, by the way. Like, I remember Robot Buffy and I forgot what happened to real Buffy, where she went into the desert and she talked to the guide who was disguised as the first layer and he was like, she was like, oh, your gift is that. Like, huh? Maybe Buffy is dying. I don't fucking know. Like, is that her gift? Like, hey, let me give you a gift. It's my corpse. Perfect. Happy birthday, Dawn. I just, I, I don't know. I mean, she can't die, obviously, because she is the Tatero character. So what are they going to do for season six and seven? Be, have Dawn be the Slayer? Oh my god, imagine. Imagine if Dawn could become the Slayer, right? Like if Buffy died and the next Slayer was cold and it was Dawn. Could be fucking insane. But I digress. I just really love the whole Buffy going on this quest because she thought that she was losing her humanity and her ability to love. Like that was... So sad to see, but I just, yeah, I really loved it. I, I think it's kind of crazy that that's how she felt, like all the trauma she suffered, she was starting to close herself off. But I loved where the first layer was like, you're actually full of love, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? Like, if you weren't full of love and humanity, you probably wouldn't be wondering if you're even able, capable of love, right? Like, people who are not capable of are not really like wondering things about themselves, right? Like, oh, am I a good person? Mm. People who are bad people don't think about that kind of stuff. So yeah, I really love that. I love that Buffy is full of love and she always puts others first and she cares about Don so much and oh God, okay, I okay, I'm done, I'm done. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm done, I'm done. Let's, let's jump into the episode. As always, if you're interested, the full length reaction to this will be up on my Patreon. So I'm just gonna hit play now. Oh, we're back at university. 
Why is it such a creepy start, though? I have to drop this class. No um, way. Uh, classes, actually. I'm not finishing this semester. Oh, I wish it. I'm so sorry. I just. Fuck. I can't be in school right now. I, I have to take care of my sister. Yes, I. I thought you might. <laughs> it's so sad. I was very sorry to hear about your loss. <laughs> Stop, please. It's gonna make me cry. I miss Joyce so much. And now she has to give up on school. It's. Uh, I hate it here so much. She can never have anything. How much I enjoyed this class. I mean, I know that I wasn't the best student, but... Please stop. I really learned a lot. Uh, and I really like poetry. I, I really do. <gasps> oh, she did it. Yay. And hopefully I'll be back next semester. When I'm more myself again. <gasps> ben. Oh my god. It was so weird to still hear her voice. But sir, you can't be late to a job that you don't have. He got fired? Enough, I've decided what? To give your... I've been calling you for two weeks. Where the hell you been? I... Inside glory? Can I just tell you it's not my fault? Sure. Yeah, it's the dog's fault. It ate you my schedule. You can also tell me that the dog ate your homework, or maybe eating <laughs> Twinkies made you do it, or maybe, yeah, that there's really a wicked demonic creature living inside you that takes control of your body and forces you to do its bidding. Well, how did he know that? <laughs> I'm Ben, I'm Ben, I'm Ben, I'm Ben. Um, Glory. I'm hungry. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. Everybody, hide your brains. Oh, I'm so excited. But the whole Buffy thing, oh, at least this professor was nice, but. Mm, it's so sad. It's so sad that she has to drop out of school and she's gonna go back next semester. Yeah, I think we've all said that. All right, that's for sure. A lot of sucky things in this dimension. Bubble baths? Not one of them. Why are they wearing? Are they being respectful? Thunderous agreement. Oh, glittering, glistening, glory figures. I oh, wasn't Jinx, I love you. him. We do your scrumptiousness. Uh, we bathe in your splendiferous radiance. Uh, I thought they were going to say, we bathe in your sweat. Vitamins. <laughs> so I think you better rack your little minion brains and tell me everything that you saw when you were spying on Buffy and... <laughs> Why was that so funny to me? What about all the times I asked you how school was and you said fine? Well, it was. She's been skipping school? You didn't ask if I was in it when it was fine. Your mother was a lovely woman and we'll all miss her very much. Stop, I know please. how difficult it must be. You have no idea. Look, I, I realize that there's been some ball dropping, but I I'm sure this will all- Dawn, why don't you wait outside for a few minutes? Uh-oh. What is she gonna say to Buffy then? Is this something bad? This is something good? Highly unlikely. I'm also an American. Yes, I suppose you are. <laughs> well, that's right, foreigner. <laughs> so I've been reading a lot about. She's nailing it. Pauling. Almost as if they no longer think money can buy happiness. Totally un American. Also, oh, totally untrue. Money can buy you happiness. I trust everything went well at the university. Yep. I'm uh, all dropped out. Good on you. Stop it. Welcome to the real world. A lot of fun to be had on the outside. Mm -hmm. See? Seriously. Whatever you need. Oh, thank you. Love the friendship. I want you to do it. You can be the foot putting downer. No, Buffy, I don't think I yeah. can. But you will have family. Her only real family now. She Please. needs you to do this. I don't want to be here anymore. When did this become so grown up? I thought I told you to do your homework. I was. Oh, she's going in? Where is she going? We were having good, clean, educational fun, and then all of a sudden it was all gloom and doom and. The outlawing of human trying. Willow, you really need to be on Buffy's side right now. You're stressed out. I'm more than stressed out. I'm freaked out. Yeah, well... It's not like I don't have a life. I do. I have Dawn's life. Well, that is the saddest thing I've ever heard. Also a little creepy. It's her. Under our noses all this time. I like the detail work those monks did. Quirks. Foibles. Does she know? But not convincing enough does she know or not you all know your assignments <laughs> i think it's time to collect the key is this a misdirect or does she actually know i cannot tell i cannot don't go to wrong does she know buffy what understandable about the crabby she has to look after dawn now i love tara so much she's the most insightful here tell me if i said something wrong otherwise i know i'll say it again Probably often and in public. No, I was sniffing oh, gal. Tara is so mature, I love her. It's like my opinion isn't worth anything because I haven't been through. Oh, uh, I'm not sweetie. an expert. 
I mean, I've only lost the one. Yay! It, it frightens me how powerful you're getting. Okay. It's a weird word. Yeah. What is it about me that you don't trust? I don't know where I'm gonna fit in. In your life when... When I change back, head back to Boys Town. You think that? I Shut hope up. not. Oh my god! No, not this relationship. No. I cannot take any more heartbreak. You're the only woman I've ever fallen in love with, so... How on earth could you ever take me seriously? Whoa, please. Have fun at the fair. Please. No, not them. I I cannot. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Oh god, they're at Buffy's place. God damn it. Don't. No, so they know it's done. I'm not real. So why would my exciting graph of chores be real? Who cares if a key gets an education anyway? Stop saying that. They're outside. Why should I care about any of this? Because they'll take you away. They'll take you away from me. That's what your principal told me when you weren't in the room. Oh, she means the government, social services. I can't make you go to school, and I won't be found fit to be your legal guardian. Love the realism. Haha. <laughs> Where would I go? Dad, maybe, or... If they can find that bastard. Amazing. Love the little cheery background with the saddest music you've ever heard. What a fun show! Love it, love it so much. Yay, look at that! Tara crying on the bench. Perfect. Love to see it. Awesome. And this is y'all's favorite season? Explain yourself. That better fucking be below. Who is it? Ah! Is this taken? They think it's Tara! They fucking think it's Tara! I'm calm. I'm so calm. I had a fight with Tara. It was awful. That better not be the last thing she ever says to her, though. Me too. How can it be over? I, I just found her. The quarrel is over. As they say, this too. <gasps> Shut up. Did he know that was there or was it an accident? How helpful. I do it. Oh, not Giles, got. like, wiping his hands. You know, that's Reaper mode activated. Get the twine that's on the counter. It's time up. Oh, don't! Oh, I'll tell you anything. Please. What did he do? What did he do today? What happened? He changed his mind. I'm. He is so scary. I love him. Don't make a sound. What? I don't hurt her. I'll kill her and and them. But I don't know who they are, so that's fine by me. As long as Tara lives, kill everyone. It's kind of funny, isn't it? All uh huh. Definitely laughing. You? Oh, this one is not pure. Lying little tramp. You're not the key. You're nothing. Just another worthless human being. I... Take that right back. If you tell me who the key really is, I'll let you go. Yeah, she's not gonna do that. You think your hand hurts? Uh -huh. Imagine what you'd feel with my fingers wiggling in your brain. I'd feel a finger wiggling in my brain, I think. But you never, ever will. Please. Let's get crazy. <laughs> this was sane. We were being sane up until now. Tara, God, we don't hurry the fuck up. No. <gasps> no, 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 please, no. 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 Tara. From sanity. Give it back. You? Give it back right now. Tara. Can we fix her? Tara, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can we fix her? I don't want to fucking cry again, please! Can we fix her? She's my everything. Well, you can get her released first thing in the morning. Man, words cannot express how much I hate this place. It's dreadful. Yeah. It's like communism. Don't get scared. Maybe Glory doesn't want to kill you. Maybe it's something... Worse? Uh, yeah. Seems like it's worse. She wants to lick your blood, from what I've gathered. Hey. You want to know what I'm scared of, Spike? It's kind of cute. Me. What do you mean? And anything that happens to Tara is because of me. Your no, bruises. No, it's not. Your limb. That's all me, too. Don't, no, please don't do anything stupid. Don't give yourself up to protect others. And everyone around me suffers and dies. What the I, fuck? I don't think. I can be good. 
Of course you can be. You can be whenever you want to be. I don't think I can sleep without her. You can sleep with me? Why? Why do you have to keep punching me in the gut? Also, that's so fucking sweet. I love Anya. Oh, now that came out a lot more lesbian than it sounded in my head. <laughs> okay, right now there's nothing you can do. Yes, there is. Please don't go after Glory. Willow, we rise. Please, please. Even I'm no match for her, you know that. But maybe I am. You're not. Willow, and I won't. Fine. I'll wait. But let's look way. after her. Like, let's not let her leave on her own, though. Because I don't trust it. Do anything? Just let me be alone. No, I'm scared. Is she gonna go after Glory? Yep, yep. Who could have seen this coming? Not Buffy. Is she blind? Like, I need her to use her little brain cells because this was so obvious. Oh, that's so small. At least take something bigger. Um... That looks like a dangerous book. Darkest magic. It's not just dark, but we're looking at the darkest. I think I'm a little buzzed for meeting that witch. What a mind she had. Mm, <laughs> no Will I finally... Hey, Willow. I think she's arrived. It's a badass entrance for sure. Era, cruel, um, tonic, dirt, thick as onyx. Bro, her eyes. Um, Jesus I Christ. Oh, you pain. Whoa, Willow. Yeah, okay, the frightening part, Tara was correct. What the fuck? I cooled her down a little. Mm-hmm. Dumbass. Not. Spike is gonna be so like, oh, bitch. Do anything rash, I love Spike. He's just so in tune with anyone. You think she... No. Yes. I told Willow it would be like suicide. Okay, and... I'll do it. Okay, Spike, we don't need this right now. It's very cute. Right person. AKA Buffy. I'll do it. Oh, I love them looking at each other. God, I, I, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. Hissing, writhing, striking. Near. Hissing? Is it a snake? You do it. I don't like it. No, Willow. Aren't you? Uh, why was that so big? Uh. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's cool. We don't have time for flare, though. Oh, that was really cool. Maybe we do have time for Flair. Sticking. This isn't over, you hear me? It isn't over! That was stressful. That's my girl. Oh, I don't... Is she gone forever? Can I help? Yes. Stab me. Right in the heart. Make it quick. Can I kiss her? I have to restrain her at night. Really? Sometimes And not in a kinky right. way? I'm sorry, I have to make jokes. I'm gonna take care of her. Even if she never... Never! Don't say that! She's my girl. Come on, please. Please. I understand. Cool. Keep twisting the knife. Why not? Give that baby. You're my always. You gotta be fucking shitting me! Let me cry in peace, you bitch! Look at that. So pure. God damn it! Oh god. That's how she finds out? Shit, 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 shit. It's gonna cut to black, huh? I fucking know it. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do now? Hmm? Well, what the fuck was that? What? I. This show is killing me. It's gonna be the fucking death of me. Again? Like, what? I had one episode? Was it just episode? Yeah. One episode. That I managed to not to fucking cry. So that's perfect. Like, what? What was this? I... What was this? Can you explain that to me? I don't think you can because it was bullshit. So much has happened in this one. Like, um, I don't even know where to start. Like, where do I start? Do I start... Maybe I just start at the end? Because... Haha, <laughs> Glory knows. Yay, Glory knows that Dawn is the key. Can we protect Dawn? Like, can we prevent Glory from snatching her up right now, then and there? Can we? I don't know if we can. Because we have to protect Terra. Because she is very much so helpless. We'll get back to that very soon, don't worry. Then Willow is probably kind of weak from exerting all that magic. We'll also get back to that. And also just from being thrown around by Glory. Buffy, also probably a little tired out. But mostly... It's just her. 
and she's never been able to beat Glory before. Like, she never even got to close. And maybe Dawn is at that point where she will be willing to just give up herself. I actually thought that that was what's gonna happen because Glory came and I thought maybe Glory was gonna hurt Willow, Tara, or Buffy. And then Dawn was gonna be like, hey, I'm the key, I'm the one you're looking for because I thought we set it up with the whole spike conversation that she had where she said that she's a lightning rod for like miserable bad things and people are dying around her so I thought oh maybe she's gonna give herself up so that she can protect the others which is stupid but also very brave and very cute of her you know so I thought that was what, what was gonna happen but no it was Tara and we can't even blame her I I mean obviously we're not gonna blame her for it because she couldn't help herself because she's crazy so it's all Glory's fault I didn't think it would be like Glory who's gonna be responsible for figuring it out, you know what I mean? Because Glory did that to Tara, that's why she found out that Dawn is the key, so... Yeah, interesting. I like the way it was done. I think this was a good way, or maybe Dawn actually giving herself up would have been a good way to do the reveal that Dawn is the key. So I like the reveal. I hate the way it ended because I'm so stressed. <sighs> okay, so next episode. Ah. What's gonna happen? It's gonna be chaos. Because next episode is only episode 20. So if Glory manages to take down, then I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. Because, well, I'm assuming using the key would mean that the key is destroyed, or maybe Dawn is destroyed because she needs to take the key out of Dawn for it to be able to be used. And I think that's too early, right? Because then what's gonna be the next two episodes? Is it gonna be bitch next two episodes is the funeral or like us defeating glory and then the last episode is the funeral for dawn would be perfect huh just end the season on a high note huh um but yeah i i, I don't know how it's gonna go because maybe they're not gonna or like glory won't be able to take dawn right now maybe she can take her in the end of the episode then that gives us the two finale like it's probably like a double finale or something like that where that would be more likely, in my opinion. Like, maybe she takes Dawn at the end of episode 20. Then 21 is her trying to use the key. Maybe she'll use the key, but Dawn is still alive at that point. And then episode 22 is closing the door, portal, whatever the key opens. I feel like that could be like a good pacing for things, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, this whole episode. Let's talk. Do we talk about Tara and Willow? Like, first of all, their relationship being on the fritz at the very beginning. Like, that is... Like, that is not how they're gonna end it, right? Like, we're not gonna have them go have a little quarrel. And it did seem like they were gonna work it out, right? Because Willow was like, mm, I love her, she's my everything. Like, obviously, I wanna be with her. Hopefully, Tara feels the same way. And then Tara is just, like, not there anymore. Oh, God, okay. Um, Let's talk about the fight first, because it was very interesting that Tara seems to be a little afraid of Willow and her magic, which, I mean, she kind of proved her right. Because what the fuck was that at the end? Like, her eyes were black and she was floating and making the whole place shake. And I think it made it darker outside as well. So, like, Willow is strong as hell. So, yeah, definitely frightening a little bit. But it's very interesting that Tara feels like that as well, that she actually ended up saying it, like, kind of accidentally, where she was like, mm, you're frightening me. And she was like, actually, I meant impressive. Like, that's definitely the word I meant to use. And Willow coming in with that, like, Freudian slip line. So... Yeah, very interesting. And also the whole Willow side of like her feeling a little left out because her mom is in that. So obviously like her opinion seems to be wrong all the time. or just like doesn't matter, which I don't think it's true. Like you can obviously have opinions and stuff, but I definitely do think she is coming at it from a different angle. Like with the whole Don, yeah, Don and Buffy situation, I understand both sides completely especially Buffy, like, of course she's scared that Dawn's gonna get taken away from her. Okay, perfect, yeah, love that, love that, that's a possibility. Love realism, like, oh, I'm so fun that this supernatural show has people dying from brain tumors, social services coming in and snatching up Dawn because Buffy is an unfit guardian, which is, I mean, at the moment, yeah, kinda, she doesn't have a job, how is she gonna provide for Dawn? I get it, but... God, this is gonna be stressful. If we make it to season five, uh, season six, like if Dawn makes it to season six, that's gonna be probably a pretty 
travel and storyline like maybe not too heavy focused on it but i for sure see ourselves talking to a social security social security social service worker like maybe a social service worker is gonna come do like a house check i definitely feel like that could be a thing that we could also add in there pepper in a little bit of drama and realism so fun so yeah i definitely think that could be a thing if don makes it to next season because at this point i'm not fucking sure she will so like this is all mood you know but yeah i love how i can't believe i'm saying love but i do enjoy how realistic like i know i complain about it but <laughs> it's because it hurts my soul but i do like that they're doing this i do like that it's realistic especially like buffy's reaction like when she found out that dawn could be taken away from her and her going so far to the other side where she's like i have to make sure that she does her homework I have to make sure that she does her chores and she goes to school like she just got so controlling and like firm with her which i totally get of course that's like the wrong way to do it because you still want her to have fun like how she used to be before joy's dad you know she should have a balance between having fun and doing schoolwork but i get why buffy would go so far into the other direction like it makes perfect sense i just hope she can find a balance later on where she let's don do fun stuff but also is taking care of her and making sure she does whatever she needs to do like go to school do her homework all that kind of stuff so i think that's gonna be like an interesting balance for her to find especially like balancing being a big sister but also kind of a mom to don i think that's like super difficult to try and do because you know it's just her sister like don is never gonna look at buffy as a mom but she kind of has to be like a mom so like her role of a big sister is gonna maybe disappear which is just so sad because i love this big sister's younger sister energy and sibling stuff between the two of them so much like i think that was just such an awesome addition to the show one that i didn't even think we could have or we needed but i actually love buffy as a big sister so yeah i i just i i feel like that relationship is gonna change it has to change but i guess we'll see how it changes how much much it's going to change and how it's going to end up but yeah going back to tara it, can we fix her like please tell me can we fix her i i just i she's not just like gone right like she isn't just gone gone where she's here but she isn't herself anymore i th i can't live with that i actually cannot live with that that's truly like worse than death and I just, how is this going to, like, can we fix her? Please, can we? I'm begging you, please don't do this to me. After everything, uh, after everything I've been through this season, they come for Tilo? Absolutely the fuck not, I don't think so. First they have a fight, then Tara gets attacked by Glory and is now clinically insane. And I, can, can Glory spit her little sanity back into her? Can we do that? Is that a possibility? Oh, I don't want this. I, I, gen I, I'm not gonna like cry about it just yet. I mean, I cried about it already, but I'm not gonna cry about it again because there's hope. Hope dies last. Like, am I a fool? Am I a naive fool? Quite possibly, but I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up hope. Like, let me leave in my little denial world, okay? Like, I, until I see that it's for sure not gonna happen, I'm not I'm not gonna believe it. I'm gonna keep believing and hoping that Don not done. Tara is gonna be okay. Right? Please let me live in this world because Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the two little dark characters we had that this episode. The first one being Giles. Bro, what did he do to the little what did they what did Sander call it? Like a little hobbit? Like a leprosy hobbit? A hobbit with leprosy? Yeah, what did he do to him? I can't believe that we cut away from it and we just heard something. Giles looks so scary and I love it. Like, I love scary Giles. Like, I think Giles has had enough as well. I think him watching Buffy suffer with Joyce's death, with trying to protect Dawn, take care of Dawn, trying to 
be a parent to her. She's 20 years old. Like this is so much to put on a young woman's shoulders. And I think Giles had had enough. And he straight up did something awful to the little man. I mean, he really was like, I will never betray Glorificus, my shiny, amazing one, you know? And Giles did something for like two seconds. Like what the Anya and Bill were turned and immediately the little guy was like, mm, actually, let me just sing like a canary. What did he do? And also I just love the fact that like, I mean, Anthony Stewart had acting is amazing. Like I could immediately see his face. I was like, oh, that's the Ripper. He's back. He's pissed off. But also it's so funny that every time he's kind of the Ripper, he uses his little handkerchief and is just like wiping his like hands. I just, or maybe he's, what's if I think his glasses? I don't know, I think it's his hands because I just remember the very first time he did that was when he beat up Ethan Rain in Halloween in season two. So I'm just like sort of associating with him taking the little handkerchief out and not actually using it in his glasses, but he's using it on his hands. Is that his ripper moment? Like he is full on ripper in that moment. And I was right because after that he tortured a little guy. I mean, I love it. I love Dark Giles. It's one of my favorite things ever. But like, we couldn't even see it. So I'm just like so curious what he did and how far he is willing to go to save and protect and help Buffy. I love him. He's great and he's scary. It's everything I want. Not in real life though. Like, please don't be fucking scary in real life. Like, I mean, honestly, would I like Giles in real life if it was like an actual real life person? I mean, he's awesome and I love him as a character, but some of his like anger tendencies, kind of scary. I know he's never like that towards... Actually, you know what? I do remember him being very, very upset at Xander. Like he was actually like super mean to him. I think it was when Xander was supposed to be in charge for Oz to make sure that he doesn't ex escape his cage but then uh, there was a window open and there was a possibility that Oz actually like went out and killed someone and Giles lost it on Xander so yeah I don't know maybe I wouldn't like him in real life some of the anger issues are not not hot at all in real life in the show phenomenal I love it so much like oh I'm so excited oh that was so loud I'm so sorry oh I'm so sorry I don't know why I was that so loud um, anyway, but yeah, I love Giles so much and that was such a badass scene. So good, so good. But yeah, our other dark character was Willow. The way she fucking burst in with the black eyes. What does this mean? Like, she read from the darkest, darkest of magic book, like the darkest of dark magic. Is, is she gonna be okay? Like, is this something that she can just like move past? Or is it something similar to like the Dark Hold from the Marvel Universe? If you don't know, I mean, is it a spoiler? Not really. Um, there's this book that has like this effect on you where if you like read from it and do magic from it, it like corrupts you. So I'm thinking like, could something similar be happening here as well? Where Willow used this book and she got access to all these dark powers could she be craving it after this? Like, could she or would she want to go back to the dark magic because she felt so powerful and it's better than, I don't know, making a pencil float or whatever. I mean, she can do more than that now, obviously. But like so far, she's been doing light magic. So I'm wondering if maybe she's going to be like, hmm, I love dark magic now. So let me just, you know, use that kind of stuff. I also love the black in my eyes. Like, I think it really makes my red hair pop. So yeah, I, I don't know. It could be something. Uh, we don't have time. We don't have no. We don't. Have, we can't do this. That's too much to deal with. I'm already overwhelmed by everything that's happening. Let's not add a evil willow to this or a willow corrupted by black magic. You know, like let's not do that. <laughs> We're busy. We're busy as it is. But yeah. Otherwise, I mean, it was a very good episode in a way. Like very intense. So much happened, and also just fucking devastating. Like. Scene after scene, there was devastation. We had Don possibly being taken away from Buffy. Buffy dropping out of university. Oh my god, I completely forgot that even happened. So much has happened in this episode. Like, that's so sad to me because what is she gonna... I mean, she's gonna have to find a job, right? Like, can she go back to university next semester? If she has to take care of Don and she can't do that without money. And if she's in the university, not only is she not earning money, but she's going into a lot of debt. So... Yeah, I don't even, I, that is like, I just, I feel like whenever you say that, like, oh, 
I'm gonna go back to university next semester. A lot of the times, that's, that's really not gonna happen, huh? You're just like gone for good. So yeah, I really wonder what's gonna happen with Buffy there. It was just such a sad scene and her being like, I really love poetry as well. Like I really love your classes and I know I'm not the best student, but I had a good time here. Heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. So yeah, that really sucks for her. So yeah, what I was trying to say, that's how the episode started. Already a gut punch. Then we had the Willow Tara fight. Then we had Buffy thinking that Dom might get taken away from her. Then we had Tara be sucked by glory. Then um, we had Hot Ripper in it, so that was fun. And then we had Dark Willow, which was kind of fun as well, but also a little concerning. And then the ending. Oh no, I forgot about the Dawn and Spike conversation. That was also fun. Dawn just blaming herself for everything and being like, yeah, I think it's my fault. You know, I'm like a magnet for bad guys and everybody dies around me. Great. Love that. Love that scene. And yeah, the ending. Hmm. Excited to see where they're gonna what they're gonna do next, you know? Are we gonna pick up right where we left off? I mean possibly. We have we have to know how that scene ends. Is Glory gonna get done? Is Buffy gonna be able to hold her off until Ron can Ron can run away? Dawn can run away? I can I clearly can't speak anymore, so maybe I should just, you know, stop at this point because <laughs> I, I think my brain is fried from watching this show. I think that's that's a given. So, yeah, interesting ending. <laughs> can't wait to see how it ends. I, I don't know. I feel like it could go either way, but maybe probably Dan is gonna run away and then she, she being Glory can catch her at the end of the episode. I think that could work with the timing and like how many episodes that are left of the season so yeah fun but yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching and a huge, huge shout out goes out to all my patrons for supporting me thank you guys so much you guys are the best i really appreciate every single one of you and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one bye I got